Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Today's video is going to cover one of my all-time favorite rope mat designs. This is the so-called sort mat. It is a very versatile, simple to make rope mat. Let me show you. Here is an example of a sort mat. This is the top. This is the bottom. Small versions like this can be used as hot pads on the table. Larger ones can work on a boat or as a doormat. So you have a ton of applications for this mat. You can easily make it wider by adding more strands to it, or you can make it longer by simply using longer strands of rope. So it has a lot of uses and you can easily adjust it for a specific situation. Now for today, our project is going to be a small sort mat. This one is going to serve on the table as a hot pad. As such, it is about half a foot in width and about a foot in length. If we quickly describe the mat, it is started with a single piece of rope which is finished on both sides using a man rope knot. Then, a bunch of pieces of rope are folded over this base piece of rope and basically woven together into a pattern. A guiding cord is used to lock everything in place. Finally, on the bottom, I use some sort of a seizing to join two pieces of rope, so two strands together. So two strands are joined here, then another two here, and another two here, and so on. All in all, most of the mat is simple to do. Preparation for actually making the mat takes a bit of time, and finishing the mat is also a bit time intensive. Other than that, this is a fairly fast mat to do. As far as supplies go, the first thing that you're going to need is going to be our main rope used for weaving the pattern. In my case, I'm using a quarter inch cotton rope. You can also use hemp, you can use sisal, manila, whatever you have. I'm going to be using 12 strands, each 3 feet long. You are going to need an additional 2 foot long strand, which is going to act as our base strand. Over this one, we're going to fold the rest of our working ends. As my guiding cord, which is going to lock the pattern into place, I'm going to use cotton rope, about 1 8 of an inch in diameter. This rope is going to be about 15 feet long. So this rope travels through the mat and holds everything together. For finishing up the ends, I usually use some sort of a seizing. I do my seizings using thread and a needle. Thread is leather stitching thread and the needle is a harness needle used to stitch leather. It's not sharp, which is important. It's not going to cut your thread. I recommend using tape to 
to secure the ends of your rope. Alternatively, you can whip the ends using thread, but using tape is much faster. And finally, most of my cutting work is going to be done using a pair of scissors. Let's begin making our mat. Let me show you how to prepare your rope as fast as you can. I'm working out of a coil or spool. I'm going to tape up the end of my rope to secure it. Then, I'm going to measure out the length of my strand that I need. In my case, 3 feet. Then, I'm going to apply another piece of tape. So, I have secured the start and end of one of my strands. I'm now going to begin the next strand by applying another piece of tape close to the previous one. So like this. Later on, I'm going to cut my strands in between these two ends. For now, again, measure out a length for your strand. And again, apply a piece of tape. So this is the second strand completed. So this is the beginning and this is the end. I now begin the third strand again, applying tape close to the previous one. Like this. And again, I measure out a length. Like this. And again, apply some tape. So this is how I prepare the strands of my rope. So in my case, I'm going to do this until I have 12 strands to cut. After preparing your strands, Cut them.
In some cases, using a piece of wood and a knife is faster. We are now going to take a two foot long piece of rope and use it as our base cord. Onto this one we're going to later on attach our working strands. But for now we're going to tie a man rope knot onto one of the ends. For this purpose I made some three colored cord to make things easier to see. To tie the man rope knot, first unravel a bit of your rope. Then separate your ends one to each side. Then tie a wall knot. You take one of the strands Pass counterclockwise under the next one. Then the next strand passes counterclockwise under the next one. And the last one passes counterclockwise into the loop created by the first strand. So this is the wall knot. Like this. Continue by tying a crown knot. Take a strand, pass counterclockwise over the next strand. Take the next strand, place it counterclockwise over the next strand. The next strand passes counterclockwise into the loop created by the first strand. Tighten up a bit and you have a crown knot, like this. Now pick up one of the strands and follow this strand next to it on the outer side. So I'm going to travel alongside this strand, passing under here, on the outside, and at the top of the crown knot, I pass under again. So essentially, my end is doubling itself up. Take the next strand and again follow this strand next to it, on the outside. We're going to pass under here and at the top of the crown knot again under, doubling up the top. Take the last remaining strand, again double up this one next to it, traveling under two, on the outside, and at the top, we're going to travel like this, doubling up the last strand at the top. Now, we're going to work our ends down to the bottom of the knot, so immediately down towards the bottom. And you do this with all three strands. Like this, and the last one. Here, traveling towards the bottom. And this is the man rope knot. To tighten it up, 
what we're going to do is start with strands coming out of our rope into the knot. Then work the slack through one of the strands like this and into the end. Then you simply take the next strand so this one here and again work it through the knot and into your working hand. And the last of our strands, again, we're going to start here, where the strand is coming into the knot. Work the slack out and into the end. And this is the man rope knot. Now it takes two tightenings to get a nice looking effect. After tying my man rope knot, I cut the ends and my base strand is ready to be used. Take your working strands, fold them in half and place them onto your base strand. So like this, I have my 12 strands forming 24 working hands. On the other side, for now, I'm going to tie an overhand knot. Later on, I'm going to replace it using another man rope knot. So my setup at this point should look like this. Take your guiding cord, which should be about 15 feet long. I'm going to run it next to my base strand, effectively traveling through the middle of my strands. I want half of my cord on the right and half on the left. With this setup complete, we can begin weaving. And now the weaving process. We start on the left side using our left guiding strand. We're going to weave under the bottom strands and over the top ones. So from left to right, I start under, over, under, over, under, over, and so on. Like this. Take the right guiding strand and double up the left guiding strand like this. And this locks the first row into place. Now tighten up your mat 
by pulling on all of the strands and pushing your guiding strands up. So something like this. Take your left guiding cord and start the second row. Again, we're going to go over our top strands from the previous row and under the bottom ones. So over under over under, over under, and so on. This is fairly intuitive, so you should get a hang of it quite easily. So, this was the left strand, now take the right one and again double up the left strand. And this locks the second row into place. I recommend again tightening. So pull on all of your strands and push the guiding cords from the second row up. So something like this. Now let's begin the third row. Again, we start on the left side, traveling under the strands, coming up, so the ones at the bottom, and over the strands coming over, so the ones at the top. So under over, under over, under over, and so on. So this was the left strand, the right one is now going to double up the left one like this and we again tighten up, pulling on the strands and pushing the two guiding cords up. We're going to repeat this process until we reach the ends of our rope. So simply continue.
To finish up the mat, we're going to line up a series of seizings. These connect two strands together, then the next two, and the next two, and so on. They are done using thread and a needle. I'm going to demonstrate a seizing using red cord, just to make things easier to see. Take your cord or thread and first tie a constrictor knot over the two ends. So you wrap around, coming over the standing end and around again, like this. Pass over your standing hand and under the crossing here. Tighten up. Then do a series of wrapping turns. So simply wrap around the two ends. After a bunch of wrapping turns, we're going to come under and through the two ends and start for wrapping turns. Come over the top, in between the two ends and back to the bottom. Tighten up firmly. Then come up again in between the two ends, over the top, and back to the bottom. Tighten up and come up in between the two ends again. I'm now going to continue from top down passing over one of the strands and under the second one. So over under, then pass over both strands like this and top down pass under one like this and tighten up and this locks off your seizing now optionally take your two ends and tie them together using a couple of half knots, basically creating reef knots. This is not needed, but I do it just in case. And this is a seizing that I use to finish up my mat. Let me show you my seizing in practice. I'm going to take my thread about two and a half feet long. I'm going to take two ends from the sides and I'm going to join them together using a seizing. In this case, since I'm on the sides, I'm also going to take one of my guiding ends which I'm also going to join, just to finish it up. Start off with a constrictor knot. I'm 
I place my knot quite close to my last row of weaving. Tighten up firmly, then begin your wrapping turns. These should be done quite tightly. Once I have enough turns, I'm going to start wrapping turns. So I come up in between my two ends, so up, then down on the other side. Like this. And again up, and down on the other side. At this point I again come up, then attach my needle And finish up passing over my two wrapping turns over under, then over the two turns, and from top down I travel under like this. Tighten up. Then take the two ends and tie them together here using a couple of reef knots. Finally, trim the two ends, like this. Then continue with the next pair, and the next and so on. Once I have seized all of the ends, I'm going to cut them a distance away, just to get a nice looking effect. Now unravel your ends a little bit. Like this. Finally, at the top, replace your overhand knot with another man rope knot. With that, your project is complete.
So guys, the result is a beautiful sort mat. I hope that I presented this tutorial clearly enough. If you have any questions, please post them down below. For now, I would like to sincerely thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time as well.